would not be surprised if Taylor Cricky does the same thing. She will just keep rolling around and around and maybe even want to join the race. So the cars are rolling up and we're not too far away from a start. This grid is an absolute ripper for the boys light up. That's the traditional track for the Cricky Boys shootout. It's cranking up here at the Motorplex. And there are Ron and John with the trophy and the check for the winner of the Cricky Boys shootout for tonight. We've got 5,000 people in the house. Zephos and Goodyear. And we are underway. Nice even race start. Goodyear comes down quickly and takes the lead over Zephos. They slide out to the fence. There's almost some contact. Are they going to get through unscathed? No. There's a spinner at the back, but they keep it pointing in the right direction. So the race goes on. One lap complete. Goodyear does a 14.95. Zephos Williamson is third place. A slide job, though, comes underneath him by Inglis. Oh, there's a contact. And into the fence, off the fence, spinning around, chucking it in circles they all escape again the race goes on oh so there has been a stoppage of course there is a lot of action back in the field at the moment he's just getting a push out so we'll see whether he is able to join the race yes or no as they go charging past him and at the moment they have gotten through plenty of dust flying out in front you can see Williamson side by side bit of a move comes from Williamson underneath he goes of Inglis meantime out in front it is Jock Goodger so Goodger leads after two laps from Brock Zierfoss who's right there with him and then Callum Williamson and James Inglis in the background having a battle for third and fourth second place Zierfoss Williamson Veal and Inglis as Inglis gets back underneath of Veal Veal gets back underneath of Inglis that's the battle for fourth and fifth at this stage here comes Inglis again back under Veal we've done four they'll keep trading places those two meanwhile out in front it's Goodyear and here comes Callum Williamson who swings out in front of Brock Zierfoss they hammer it down the triple M back straight and now the three car of Callum Williamson moves into second spot you on the high, high side of the racetrack Williamson trying to mow him down they're coming up on the outside of some of the slower traffic there's only a couple of car lengths in it we've done nine still 26 to go Callum Williamson dives to the inside and has hit the front he takes the lead here comes Goodyear can he come back the answer for the moment is no so Williamson takes the lead comes now underneath of Sutherland we complete another lap there's a car length in it after 10 oh it's tight racing between these two Callum Williamson and Jock Goodyear two of the absolute superstars of sprint cars the future guns as Callum Williamson extends a little bit here, Jock Goodyear got stuck behind uh, Glenn Sutherland a little bit further back in the pack, while Brock Zierfoss, he's got a decent gap back to James Inglis. And uh, there is the gap second to third, Goodyear to Zierfoss, Zierfoss, but it's Williamson from Goodyear, the top two. As they go through, 18 laps down, 35 laps is the journey, so we're just over the halfway point of this race. As down the back straight, they head into turn number three now, and there's another bounce off the wall but he's still extracting speed Goodyear Goodyear's going to do a slide job here he goes to the race lead he takes over from Callum Williamson out of turn two Williamson fights back can't get the power it's Goodyear who goes back in front second place Williamson third place is still Zierfoss close enough if good enough back then to English man as Veal McHugh 20 laps down we're watching something special something spectacular here at the Motorplex tonight as Goodyear's back in front from Williamson He's opened up a bit of a gap, but there's a wall of cars in front of him now. King is one of those, Corbett's another, and Brad Maiolo's the car between he and the leader of uh, Goodyear at the moment. Williamson in second place. There's still just the one lap car between them. Williamson staying on the outside. Goodyear is weaving his way through. We complete another lap, and there's still only about 15 metres between them. Jeez, this feels like a Bunbury Speedway right now. It's a little bit of a dust bowl, and I must say, in three, but here comes Brock now. He's getting a lot closer on that lap. 
Those last couple of corners, he's made up another three tenths of a second and gets very close to the outside of him out of TD Granny Flats turn number one. So it's good to who leads, but the battle for second is now really on. It's Williamson v Zierfoss. Zierfoss, oh, he almost came in contact with the wall. He he's slowing down. He's and gone. Zierfoss is out of the race. So sadly, Brock Zierfoss, he goes down low on the racetrack. He'll turn the car infield and the race will go on around him. Goodyear Williamson and now James Inglis moves up onto the podium. He's in third place. Manders McEwen and feel it there in that order as the race goes on 31 laps down for jock goodger he's going to come out of turn this time around the white lights will come on here at the motorplex he swings up high there are the white lights williamson in second a long way back in third is james inglis down into turn number one the final time it is jock goodger who leads he was challenged mid-race he has taken back the lead come on perth put your hands together the cricky boy shootout winner is jock goodger second across the line is Callum Williamson. Third place is still up for dispute and as he comes out of turn number four it is very close indeed and Lockie McHugh has got up for third. And James... Well, it's been an amazing 12 months at the Motorplex for Jock Goodyear, your winner of the Cricky Boys Shootout. Lockie McHugh, the winner of last year's event, finishing in third and Callum Williamson